Hi everyone, how to approach forensic medicine the right way from the beginning that is your third year, we call it as honeymoon period. Forensic medicine is one of the very interesting subject like example, uh, you know, uh, suicide, homicide, accidental death, cafe coronary syndrome, autoerotic hanging and all. And it is also a very scoring subject. In any entrance exam, there will be at least 10 to 15 questions, direct questions from forensic medicine in toxicology. The first question comes is, what is forensic medicine? See, forensic medicine is a branch of medicine that deals with application of medical knowledge in administration of justice in relation with BNS, that is Bharatiya Naya Samhita, BNSS, that is Bharatiya Nagarika Suraksha Samhita, and BSA, that is Bharatiya Saksha Adhiniyama. So, you must know some important uh, BNS section, BNSS section, and BSA related to medical practice that is very commonly asked in our university exam. So, by using our uh, uh, forensic knowledge, you can solve many crime mysteries. We call it as forensic mysteries. Like example, cafe coronary syndrome. A case of sudden death in a bar and restaurant, which mimics like cardiac arrest or the heart attack. So, this is the banana and uh, this is the alcohol. So, what happens in cafe coronary syndrome? So, uh, say this is water bottle, consider this as a alcohol bottle and this is a solid food. When person is having the solid food under the influence of alcohol, so there are chances of entry of this foreign body into the larynx. That stimulates vagus now, which causes vasovagal inhibition and death. It mimics like a heart attack. So, by using your forensic knowledge, you can solve many forensic mysteries. One more example, what are the injuries caused by blunt object, blunt object. So the injuries are abrasion, bruise and laceration. What are the injuries caused by the uh, sharp weapon, like example knife, sharp weapon. So it can cause stab wound or it can lead to incised wound. Sort of very commonly asked in university exam, the basics of forensic medicine. So before uh, studying forensic medicine, you must know the weightage of different chapters in relation with university exam. It differs from one state to the another state, but in general, as per CBMA curriculum, 75 to 80 percent of the questions come from forensic medicine. And 20 percent in some universities around 25. So toxicology that is around 20 percentage. If you ask me what are the important divisions of forensic medicine, so there are divisions like this, general forensic medicine around 5 mark, forensic pathology around 25 mark. In general forensic medicine, the important topics are dying declaration, dying deposition, differences between dying declaration, dying deposition, medical records, cause of death, death certificate and all. In forensic pathology, basically thanatology, that is study of death in detail and the postmortem changes, very, very important in forensic pathology. Then comes his medical legal autopsy, autopsy procedure, mechanical asphyxia, very, very important and very interesting, that is hanging, strangulation, manual strangulation, suffocation and drowning, very commonly asked in entrance exam as well. Thermal injuries, rule of nine, hypothermia, hyperthermia, flame burn injury, electrocution and all. Then that due to starvation, then neglect and infanticide, basically 25, 25% 25 of the total syllabus, we can say. Then comes as clinical forensic medicine, around 25 again. The here, the very important topic is identification, then mechanical injuries. Blunt force trauma, sharp force trauma, firearm injuries, entry wound, exit wound, regional injuries, basically skull fractures, transportation injuries, then very, very important is sexual offenses, definition of rape, punishment for rape, seven descriptions of rape, 
victim examination, accused examination, sexual perversion, unnatural sexual offenses, very commonly asked in the exam, you need to memorize and you need to revise. Then virginity, pregnancy, abortion, in abortion MTP act, very important. Impotency, very interesting chapter, impotency. Sterility, sterilization, artificial insemination, torture, child abuse, all these are important topics in relation with clinical forensic medicine. That is around 25 marks. Then comes is medical jurisprudence. So that is around 15 mark. In that, very important is medical negligence, civil negligence, criminal negligence. Then euthanasia, mercy killing, bioethics and principles research ethics then forensic psychiatry delusions hallucination true insanity fiend insanity impulse disorder magneton's rule basically around five mark so only five mark then that is toxicology around 20 25 percentage in that chemical toxicology pharmaceutical toxicology like paracetamol poisoning then biotoxicology, like example, uh, snake bite and treatment of snake bite, a right approach and all. Social medical toxicology, environmental toxicology, basically around 25. So this is the theory blueprint of forensic medicine. Uh, then comes is the practical examination in forensic medicine. Uh, we call it as OSPIN FMT. So there are eight important exercises as per CBME curriculum. The first important one is own certificate. Own certificate known as injury certificate. The second one is age certificate around 15 mark. Then skeletal remains like example here, the examination of skeletal remains, very, very interesting. That is around 10 mark. Then comes is victim of rape, or accused of rape, or drunkenness certificate, that is around 10 mark. So there are four important exercises. Then PM certificate that is around 10 mark. Spotters we call it as OSCE, OSCE in forensic medicine around 10 mark. Then comes his MCCD medical certificate of cause of death that is around uh, 10 mark. And lastly one one short exercise basically preservation of evidentiary material in case of poisoning like example in case of op poison or preservation of dna material so that is basically around five mark so totally around 80 mark 80 that is uh, practical 100 in theory and uh, 20 that is the viva so totally around 200 you must get 100 out of 200 so this is about the uh, forensic medicine and toxicology, uh, the weightage and how to approach forensic medicine in third year. So uh, thank you all. Uh, we'll see you in FMT 3.2.